Hi, my name is Gina Peralta, and I'm going to be doing my how-to presentation for my speech class. Today, I will be teaching of how to make Cuban coffee. The things that you'll be needing to do Cuban coffee is, of course, whatever type of coffee you like. Today, we're going to be using pilon, an old-school Cuban cafetera, a mixing cup, sugar, and a spoon. The first step that you're going to do is you are going to twist off the cap of la cafetera. You're going to use the filter portion and fill it up with the coffee. You have to try to get the coffee in. The more you pack in the coffee, the stronger the coffee will be. Um, I like strong coffee, so let's pack it in as much as we can. Okay, then you set this to the side. You get the bottom and you fill it up with water, up to the rim, more or less, as so. You get the filter portion and you put it inside. Then you twist the cap of la cafetera. Make sure it's tight, because the water does do a boiling motion, so you don't want it to spill. You turn on the range and you put it in a high degree. You kind of take off the top just to see when the coffee comes up because you do need the first spill of coffee. That should take around a minute or so for the water to boil and rise and filter through the uh, Cuban coffee. Second step that we're gonna do after that is you're gonna get your regular sugar, white sugar, Take about three or four, depends on your taste. I like sugary coffee. So take at least three or four spoons of coffee. And it's a wait. So we're gonna wait until the coffee rises and filtrate. I've been drinking coffee since I was really young. I do come from a Cuban family. So coffee is a must. This was something that I learned to do from a very young age. Wake up in the morning, it was for sure we're having coffee, cafe con leche, some type of coffee. Um, it does take a little bit for the coffee to filtrate, but other than that, um, just takes a few seconds. <laughs> 